Are we partial to pricey pork? Possibly. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Red and I are carnivores. That's no secret. True. There are no meat secrets between us. No, and meat can get pricey. That's no secret either. But does price matter when it comes to the pork you put on your fork? We're about to find out. It's time for Naked Foods, Naked Pork Dishes Edition. Naked. You know how this goes. We're gonna taste a lineup of pork dishes from four different price points. We got the freezer section of a grocery store, a casual restaurant, a sit-down restaurant that's a little less casual, and a fine dining restaurant. We're gonna pick our favorite, and then Stevie's gonna tell us where each one is from and how much it costs. So by the end, we're gonna know how fancy or unfancy our pork palate really is. Yeah, let's get porked. This is bacon. Mm. Mm. At four different price points, man. Living the life. Oh, that's some crazy. This is bacon. some this is some darker bacon, man. It's a little darker. Mm -hmm. Very it, thinly sliced. It is. Does it put me in a fancy place? Hmm. Well, Not don't worry about that. Yeah. It's just which one do you like? I didn't love it. Something about it. There it does seem like they're trying left something hard, to be desired. But it doesn't taste that great. This is like looks normal. Tastes kind of like home. That tastes like camp bacon. Like somebody's dad made a lot of it real fast. It's good. I actually like it better than the first bacon. I, I think I do as well, but. This one's a, a real flat, sad bacon. Does not taste good either. That's sad bacon, I completely What concur. the heck's wrong with that bacon, dude? I don't know. That's the worst one, but this one is thick. That's pretty good bacon. Is it applewood? I don't know. Hmm. All right. I know which one's my favorite. We can sit here and eat bacon all day, but we must vote. Three, two, one. Wah bam! It's the best bacon. I mean, bacon ain't bad, but real good bacon is a lot better. You've both both chosen our fancy option from Bottega Louis. Uh, two oh. slices for. Twelve dollars, and you know Dang. what that means. Yeah, it means that we get to dance with Chase dressed as Michelle because Michelle's still not here. Okay, whatever. All right. But at least look on the bright side. What? No, what? I'm, I'm, I'm hurt, Chase. You know, <clears throat> stop the music. <laughs> I'm choking on bacon, and I'm also very Chase. Just listen. Is we need to drop this facade, okay? Listen, it hasn't been the same since Mushell left. You're not Mushell. You never were Mushell, and I'm sorry, you're never gonna be Mushell. No. Nope. So why don't we just drop this whole thing? We don't have to have a fancy pants dance. It's just I mean, it was a thing that we did because of Mushell. The yeah. positive thing is, at least we're eating bacon. Okay. Yeah. So Chase, you know what? You're I, great at a lot of things, but not this. I, it's over. I tried. Yeah. You did try, and you it, know what? Yeah. It didn't. Wasn't good enough, but it didn't feel I do right. appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. I think. I agree with you. He will never be Mushell. Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? Could it be? What? Whoa! Are you kidding me? The, the Mushell? No. You're back. <laughs> Don't touch me there, Michelle, I'm hurt. Yes, yes, you've been gone a long time, a lot has happened. What's that, girl? You, no. you, you've been gone? No. And you've been watching from your mobile phone? No. And you saw that Chase was doing a completely horrendous job at trying to be you? No. And then there was a chicken who came in? No. And he sucked? Somehow you knew him, his name was Hancock? He's no. not coming back? No. But now because you felt sympathy for us in the show, you've come back to take your rightful place as Michelle? No. And we're gonna do the fancy pants dance. Wow, this is so good. Oh. This, is, this is like it's just so a much happy better. ending. So much better. So much fancier. So pleasing. Perfect. Ah. So Michelle, where were you? What what were you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll keep we'll, we'll keep that to ourselves for a little Fancy bit. Fancy bacon is better. And that and things are back in order. Yeah, they are. Okay, starting from Rhett's side, that the first one is our sit down place tally ran for five ninety five. Yeah. The next is our grocery market pantry thick cut bacon for four sixty nine a pack. And then uh, the next one is our uh, like casual McDonald's. That's McDonald's half bacon. Strips. Yeah, for one forty nine. I also don't know what a half strip really means. Uh, looking at them, but it wasn't great. Yeah. These are pork buns. Pork buns. Oh, I like a pork. Oh, bun. That's a big one. This is a big gun. They're so soft. they vary in sizes, but other than that, I really can't tell a difference so far. Hmm. I had to go kind of deep for my pork. Yeah, pretty thick wall. Not bad. I've had better pork buns, but that's a, it's pretty solid. I'd keep eating it. Uh, the buns on this, I, I, you know, I'm more of a dim sum man. I like having this as an option at a meal, but you can I, you know, typically eat one of these, you know. It'll weigh it you down. Fills you up. These are smaller. It's actually tangier and a little bit more what I expect inside of a pork bun. This, is, this one's got more flavor to I it. Don't, it's got more flavor, but I don't like the proportion. I actually like the bigger bun. Oh, you do? Well, then go back to this one. That's a big daddy. Yeah, it's got a little booba looba loopy kind of appeal got a to very it. Very nipply, nipply pattern. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh my goodness! Should I have broken this apart? Because oh. now I can tell that it's just a meatball. That's ball a meatball. Here. Well, that's the only one that's just a meatball. These other ones are not. Huh. Hmm. It's that's a, pretty flavorful as well. But there's just a whole meatball in there. Isn't that weird? Uh, it's not. I mean, I think I've had that one time. I'm actually looking for the ones that are like red on the inside. Isn't that a pork bun? Can you read? That's you? a barbecue pork bun. Oh, oh you're right. See now, this and we're we're back to more normalcy, like shredded pork in there. Mmm, that almost tastes like pulled pork. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But I'm getting something a little. But there's no other sauce in this one. It's just like there's nothing added to the pork. It's just it's just pork. You know what? I've learned something, not just about the pork, but about the bun itself. Okay. Three, two, one. I actually think I like the first one the best. This, there's a sweetness in the uh, in the dough that I didn't find in the rest of them. Brett, you've chosen our casual option, Sing Woo Kitchen, uh, $2.99 for two buns. Oh, oh that's, that's a deal. Bad, bad at all. And Link, you've chosen our sit-down option, Lotus Chinese Cuisine, uh, $5.12 for two buns. So in both of these scenarios, I don't think they're making these in the restaurant. They're like just trucking them in. I don't think, I don't know if that's particularly true, but I do know that your second favorite true. was our frozen option. Yeah. I, I uh, good and gather pork buns, 194 for two. And then the one like third in is fancy Din Tai Fung for 750 for two. Oh, really? This so, is Din Tai Fung? If you just get the meatball, I just, it is tasty, hmm. but I just wasn't. I, the, I love the, Din Tai Fung. The I'm meatball surprised. part of it is the part that I didn't like. Huh. I like the shredded pork better. These are pork chops. No, like I know you can't. Uh, I can't be can't doing cut. any cutting. I don't. I, so hand me, I mean, hand me one of your forks. Oh yeah, you're gonna. Well, here, I'll, I'll feed you. Huh. And then you, you give me this fork. Uh, you hold on to this fork. I actually ordered a, a pork chop at a restaurant. We went out with another friend, and I was like, one of you guys is gonna have to cut up my pork chop. And then our friend was like, maybe it should be me, because you want people walking by and seeing Rhett cut up your pork chop for you? And I was like, not really. Yeah, we want them to think Link has a pork guy, a, 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 kni a knife guy that, yeah. that comes so around our third it. friend was like, yeah, you're gonna be our pork chop cutter. Here's, here's, here's one, I don't have to feed you every time. Um, this is a thick daddy. Now you're a pork chop guy. I knew I, when we went out to that it. restaurant. Even though I couldn't cut it. I was like, he's gonna get the pork chop. But then when I ordered it, I was like, I will take the pork chop and could you ask the chef to cut it up for me like he would for a child? And then the waiter was like, yes. And then I wasn't shamed. That is a tasty pork chop. Mm-hmm. I like to do my pork a little bit less. I like to there be a little bit of pink in there. I still, Woo! it's not overdone. Underdone. That is that is good. I mean, there's two chops on it. Look at that thing. Yeah, it's a double chop. Look at that, a freaking double chop, y'all. It goes too deep. 
Thanks for giving me the one with the, the little fat on it. I like that. That's a tasty pork chop. That's, that's like something you do at home. Throw it in the pan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, this one's nice. I like the way this one's done right here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, a, a nice pork chop. Oh! That's a good thing to have. This thing is charred. The flavor, though. Come that one? Well, you didn't like the flavor of that? Give me a little bit of this one again. This one, I like the charred flavor, but this one. There's two There's two really good pork chops on this plate. Three, plate, these plates. two, one. I'm going for the double, It might baby. just be the way it's cooked, but I like it because it's got a little pink in there. It's not overdone. That one's good, too. So, Rhett, you chose our sit-down option, Granville's Thick Cut Pork Chop for $28. And Link, you've chosen the fancy option, Morton's, for $41. Dance, Morton. please. I'm so glad you're back. Oh, here we go. Be gentle with me. I broke my collarbone while you were gone. Ooh. Thought about you often. So glad to have you back. Have a nice pin. Mm. You have a pin of yourself on your dress? No. Oh, I'm wearing the Mouchelle pin as well. What is that? A mythical.com thing? Yeah. All right. You can get it. I mean, I didn't go to mythical.com to get mine, <laughs> but you can. Pin of the That's month? Right. Is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Every month is a new pin? No. Yes. New Seriously? program featuring limited quantity collectible pin every single month, y'all. The January pin is Michelle dancing. It's a soft enamel pin with a decorative card backing. <laughs> so you go to mythical.com, you sign times. up, you get a new pin each month. Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah. you 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 can opt to get the pin every month. Yes. Yeah. You, you, um, you just buy okay. it every month. You know oh, you what is interesting month. is that Chase told me that originally the fancy pork chop that the crew had selected for this round was a hundred dollars, and the restaurant refused to serve it to go, even when uh, we emailed the manager. Oh wow. No, well, I mean, it. yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> I tried to call, Nicole tried to call, we tried to email, and they just refused to let us take a pork chop to go. Who, who, who where was it? That's how you know it's really fancy. What, it where? Was a chispaca. Yeah, let's put them on blast. Chispaca has standards. The pork chop on the first plate uh, is casual from McCall's for twenty three ninety nine, and then the one that you said that wasn't bad is the frozen one, Good and Gather, it's for actually, ten ninety eight. It's better than this one. It really is. This one's better than this one. Oh, I think yeah. that if this one was cooked Credit to Trevor. like that one, this might be better, but I, I love the flavor on that Granville pork chop. Granville, got it going on. Bringing it. These are pork tamale. Pork tamale? Yeah, man. Have I had a pork tamale? Well, you're about to. Oh my gosh. But I don't know if you're gonna be too excited here at the beginning. This one is, this one is tough to get oh, into. Yeah, th I mean, do we have to waste the time on this one? Maybe it tastes great though. Ah, no. Oh, God. Well, it's not nearly as bad as Link is making it out to be. It's just so dry. It's, it's like very, very dry. Flavor profile is so dry I can barely get, get down. See, you can't even talk. You need, you need Flavor profile is not bad. I mean, this one looks like it's, it could be a freaking lasagna. It looks more like an enchilada. Like, I would call this a wet tamale. Is that like just cheese on top of it? Uh, I'll tell you, this, this hand of mine is not the... Not the one I typically use. When I sit down at dinner, my family just laughs at me trying to eat with my off hand. You want me to do that too? Make you feel at home? Mm-mm. <laughs> Not bad. I thought this was gonna be better. Not great. I got a good piece of unadulterated pork that was really good. See, this one right here, this one, you can see how it was wrapped in the, in the wrappings and the trappings of a tamale, which is a um, corn husk. You know, fun fact. Oh, uh, mm. Mm. oh, wow, uh, huh? That's how a tamale is supposed to taste. Yeah, that's good. And the and the the meat inside is a is I mean, boisterously seasoned. That is good. Woo! It's gonna be hard to top. Dang! But this one over here, I could uh, keep coming back to that place. See, this one, there's a, like a long strip of pork down in there. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm really having trouble getting. I feel like you're having an impact on me, making me bad at it. 
You can do it, son. I guess it's not my problem. It's your problem. It's the tamales problem. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. That one. That one's. That one's like as expected. The, there's no flavor on that pork in there, though. This has got. I mean. I'd, I'd like to think you could just get a really nice tamale out of like a food truck, you, you know, can. just like a food stand like that. I you mean, can. that should be the best place to get like a nice tamale. Yeah, I don't think you have to go to a fancy place to get a good tamale. But I'm afraid we're both about to vote for the fanciest. And I just don't think that's the world that I live in. I don't know if that's the fanciest or not. It's just by far the best, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, even though, um, you know, I'm sure Stevie's still going to do three, two, one at some point. But Three, I made it so two, obvious. One. There she went. There she did it. I, I'm actually gonna. I'm changing my answer. I'm going with this one, and I hope it's from a truck or a ta table that they set up in front of the grocery store. Well, you chose our casual place, which is Guisados, which we know for tacos, but they also have tamales. Guisados, best tacos in town. They're yeah. great. For All right, so I feel good about that. And then, yes, Rhett, you chose our fancy place, Mijares, for eight. 95 which Worth means it. you get to dance. Worth I mean 895? That's that's still pretty affordable for a very unique pork Oh, tamale. it feels so good to have you back. It's just so different than Chase. It's just like there's a fluidity and there's just like a there's a different quality to the way you feel and <laughs> that part right there feels very different. I mean, that part feels different. <laughs> This really? part specifically feels very different. You talking about the udders? I don't know what it is. I just hit something that's different than when I hit Chase. I think you're running into the udders. Oh. When I hit Chase, it's an udder. Yeah, there's just one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, on the first plate, it's our frozen option, Del Real for 166 Horrible. Not happening. And then sit down place, Pepe's for 579 Not great. So, the lowest possible price of every item combined was fifteen forty four. The highest was sixty nine forty five. Rhett, your perfect meal total was fifty one ninety four, and Link, yours was sixty two eighty seven. Well, you're fancier on pork. The pork I'm a, realm. I'm a pork frou frou guy. You are. You got to get that fancy pork just to keep up with you. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name's Alyssa. And my name's Andrew. And we're at Bacon Fest in Kettering, Ohio, eating chocolate covered bacon. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Bacon Fest? Y'all didn't call us? <laughs> you did make a video though. Click the top link to watch us guess if strange novelty bacon items are real or fake in good mythical mode. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Don't miss your chance to grab January's collectible pen of the month, Mooshell. Move on over to mythical.com to secure yours now.